God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars in heaven were due. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. Hello, boys and girls. This is Hannah, and I have a wonderful story for you called In the Beginning. Memory text is God's all all that he had made and it was very good genesis chapter 1 verse 31 the message for today's story is god made a wonderful world because he loves me let's pray dear jesus thank you for this day as you are going to study your lesson about in the beginning be with us and speak to us in jesus name amen have you ever made a good picture of an animal and felt pleased about it? God made real life animals in a whole new world and it was very good. One day God decided to make a whole new world. He had a wonderful plan. God looked at a place of darkness of water. It was too dark to see anything and there were no sounds except the sound of water. Then God spoke. Let there be light, he said. And there was light. The light he called day and the darkness he called night. And that was the end of the first day of our world. On the second day, God created air and a beautiful blue sky to surround the new world. An evening and the morning made the earth's second day. The next day, God said, let the water under the sky come together and let dry ground appear. Suddenly, the waters came together and dry land appeared. God called the places land and the waters he called the seas. God saw that this was good, but there was still more work to do on this day. God spoke again. And the earth became beautiful and green with grass and trees, red and purple and yellow and orange flowers nodded in the gentle breeze. Plants and trees grew tasty things to eat. When night crept over the land on the third day, God looked at all of these beautiful, delicious things. He liked what he saw. And what do you think he said? He said, mm, this is good. Next day, God said, let there be light in the sky. And it was so. A new bright sun warmed the earth by day. And that night, the moon beams across the peaceful seas. Millions and millions of tiny little stars twinkled in the night sky. God said that it was good. Although the earth was beautiful, it was still a very, very quiet place. But that was about to change. On the fifth day, God spoke again. Let there be water filled with living creatures, he said, and let birds fly above the earth. Dolphins and whales splashed in the seas. Colored little tiny fish danced in the streams. The sea is filled with living creatures. And birds of every color chirped and squawked and screamed and cooed. God blessed them all. And God saw that this was good. And when the new day dawned, God spoke again. This time, he called for living creatures. Great big animals like elephants and the hippopotamus lumbered across the earth. Lions and tigers swished their long tails. Kangaroos and rabbits popped along. Puppies played and horses made. 
God looked at a beautiful world. And he smiled. What a lively world. And do you know what he said? God said, this is good. And so it was. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for the lesson. And thank you for the new world. In Jesus' name, amen. He's got the whole world. In his hands, 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 he's got you and me and brother. In his hands, he's got you and me and brother. In his hands, he's got you and me and brother. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the little tiny baby. In his hands, he's got the little tiny baby. In his hands, he's got the little tiny baby. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. Whoa.